Today I'm going to talk about the Fortnite meta and let you know what's going on right now so you can get an idea of how to win and get an advantage in the game. The game has changed a lot because now we're in Chapter 2 Season 3 and everything has changed this season. What used to win last season is no longer winning this season. So let's talk about it. Before we do, quick shout out to a YouTube account. I was looking through my comments to shout someone out and I saw this on an older video, my colorblind video, and it said, this helps so much and sorry to hear about your dad. I figured it was a good comment for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I really appreciate this. This means a lot. If you did watch that video, colorblind settings are very important, but this season things are a little different. It's probably better to have colorblind off and turn your brightness up a bit. It makes the screen a lot easier to see. Just some extra tips so you can go ahead and get in there and slay out before we start this conversation. So the charge shotgun is here and it is it changed the meta and switched things around. So now you have to charge it up because you have to press down and then you have to let go to release to shoot it. So this is a nerf to people that are really good at editing and building, mainly editing. Fortnite is looking to change the skill cap, switch things around so the edit kings, you know, can't take over this season, which for me is a plus for me because I'm okay at editing, but I'm definitely no edit king. And with that, there is a way to fire the gun right away. I did a video on it. I'll link it up top just in case you want to check it out because it will help in certain situations and I'm crushing with it personally. I feel like as long as I remember to do it because it's still new, I'm going to get that elimination easily. So they're also doing other things to nerf building. You know, materials are now catching on fire. So there are ways to get damaged from fire, especially if you stand in the middle of a campfire, you'll take damage and that's just an early sign to kind of hint, hey, this is going on. There are also some areas where you can blow things up and they catch on fire. If you add building, the builds catch on fire. This is because a new thing is going to be coming out called the Firefly, which is kind of like a Molotov cocktail where it's going to hit your building and it's going to catch on fire. Again, a nerf to people that are building and crushing it building. They want to be more aim based and focus more on that. They also wanted to increase the TTL, which is time to live, which I, I kind of like this part. Basically, it means you can't get lasered as bad. They nerfed head damage from ARs and they nerfed the shotgun, the attack, they nerfed everything. They changed first the two shots instead of three. That's for controller nerf. They might not even have noticed that, but that's for aim assist nerf. They also nerfed aim assist 30% on PC. We are not sure if it was also on console. Someone did a poll, got 17,000 replies and it was pretty much 50 50 half of them think it was removed and half of them don't so i don't believe they would move it from console but there is a chance so why are they doing all this they don't want people building into boxes and killing people instantly they want to show they want people to diversify and you know have longer battles because that's just going to look better on clips it's going to be give the other person a chance. If the other guy has awesome aim, you're not going to die instantly and just get crushed. I like the time to live extra. I think it should be added. And since they're doing across all weapons, almost, it's a good thing. And when I say almost, we found one they missed, which I'm sure is going to be nerfed very soon. Cypher PK pointed it out. You can side grade a i believe it's com smg to a rapid fire and the rapid fire rate is very fast the reloads very fast it actually can shoot through walls before they can build them so if they're holding the wall and you're shooting them with this you're going to get a tag every wall which is huge basically building's going away but it's not <laughs> this season it's going to be much less effective especially build battles and quick box fighting edits that's going to be fun on creative but it's not going to be fun in the game itself you'll still be able to build to control things but now the aspect's a little different so if you are against someone and they have a charged shotgun and you'll know because you'll hear it box up because they're gonna have to edit or break a wall and 
Sorry for the dog. And if they break that wall, they're going to uncharge their shotgun and you're going to get a shot on them. If you have a charged shotgun and someone's in a one by one, best thing to do is wait for them to edit. In the beginning of this season, they're going to edit out and try to get a hit on you because they might not be fresh with the meta yet and you'll be able to crack them real hard. In the future, they're going to know better, go out the opposite wall and probably build up or around and try to get a better angle and opportunity. So that's the new meta this season and I wanted to let you know early so you can take advantage of it before other people figure it out. Also, you can see Sharky in the background, I just fed him, so if you're seeing him go crazy over there, he's just excited because it's, it's dinner time for him. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Smack that like and here are some other videos. I would love it if you checked out and I'll see you over there.